this is every single Sidemen food product. And I'm going to test all of them. The Sidemen are the biggest YouTube group in the entire UK. From their Sidemen Sunday to their terrible imposters in Among Us. And straight up bullying Vic. Fuck you! Like JJ, that has really got to stop. But now they are taking over the food market. Which is why I'm going to be ranking every Sidemen food product. Starting with the Caramel Chew. It literally says best lunchbox treat. Now I will be the judge of that. Yo, it is literally rock solid. But the real question is, how does the caramel chew chew? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Best bar, more like the worst bar. I'm sorry, Sidemen, but this one is definitely disappointing. So I'm going to put it in the C tier. Which reminds me, all of the Sidemen food will be competing against each other. And the winner by the end of the video will be crowned the tastiest Sidemen product. The, the tastiest Sidemen product. No, don't make it gay. Just no, you looked at me. Which means the caramel choo choo takes the number one spot. I mean, it is literally the first product. Next up, we have got sweet and salty chicken bites. Like, why do people like things sweet and salty? Just choose one of them. Okay, I forgot that I actually had to cook this. Now I'm not gonna die of food poisoning. Let's see how they taste. Mmm. Now that is more like it. Soft, tender, sweet and salty sweet and salty chicken it's going in the b tier which now puts them in the lead only for now next up we have got sweet and spicy chicken bites okay now we're talking i literally love my spice <laughs> so i already know these are going to be amazing so I already know that these are going to be amazing. They come stuffed with barbecue sauce. And they also have two fire emojis. But the real question is, how do they taste? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! Oh. Luckily, I had my preem to save the day. Oh. They are spicy. The two fire emojis may have beaten me this time. However, I'm going to put these in the B tier. My mouth is literally on fire right now. Next up, we have literally got every single Sidemen sauce. We have got Ultimate Barbecue, Louisiana Hot Wings, Sweet and Smoky Ketchup, and Chicken Shop. But first, let's try the Ultimate Barbecue. Okay, maybe that's a bad idea. So, let's try it with a bit of chicken this time. Yo, this is actually really good. I think I'd probably prefer this rather than the McDonald's barbecue sauce. And I love the McDonald's barbecue sauce. I hate to say it, but it's going in the A tier. Which means the barbecue sauce takes the lead of being the tastiest Sidemen product. Yo, you've got to stop with that. Next up, let's try this sweet and salty. Sweet and salty? Next up, let's try this sweet and smoky bar ketchup sauce. Next up, let's try this sweet and smoky ketchup sauce. I am not making the same mistake as last time. Yo, that actually smelled busting. But the real question is, how does it taste on chicken? Mm. I mean, it does just taste like ketchup. So unfortunately, the ketchup is going right next to the caramel choo-choo. But will the Louisiana hot wing sauce be able to top that? Please don't be spicy. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to this one. What is that smell? I squirted way too much on that. Yo, that is actually kind of nice. The aftertaste is horrible. And because of that, we have our first D tier. And finally, we have the chicken shop burger sauce. I have been looking forward to this one. Oh my God. It literally just smells like a Big Mac. Now this is the one. Oh my god. I think I could literally put this sauce on everything. Roast dinners, cereal, toast. So a round of applause to the Sidemen. I don't care what anyone says. This is definitely going in the S tier. Which means it overtakes the barbecue sauce and is now at the top spot. For the next Sidemen food, we have Choco Crunch cereal. I think I could literally put this sauce on everything. Cereal. Okay, maybe I was only joking. Or maybe I wasn't. Find out at the end of the video. 
I forgot to bring a bowl. Looks like we're doing it the old fashioned way. Oh my God, it literally smells like Play-Doh. First up, let's just try it dry. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Now let's try it with some milk. Okay, shall I put the milk in first or the cereal? I think cereal. Okay, first up, let's add some cereal and then add the milk. But the real question is, is this really the best cereal? I mean, it literally is because of the name, but you get the point. Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty average, but I wouldn't say it's the best. It's not as bad as the cereal bar, so beat it. Next up, we've got the caramel gold best cereal. So let's see if it's better than the chocolate one. Again, why is it smelling like Play-Doh? Surely that's not good. So first up, let's try it dry and see how it tastes. The chocolate one is definitely better, but let's try it again with milk. So I tried to do it the other way around, but then this happened. Apart from it nearly killing me, how does it taste? Okay. Mmm. Okay, it is definitely better with milk. But I still think the chocolate one is way better than the golden caramel. And I need to clean up this mess. This is going in the C tier. Next up, we have Nashville coated extra large chicken ribs. I had no clue that you could get chicken ribs. Yo, these are actually huge. But everyone knows that size doesn't matter. Well, I mean, that's what I got told. But the real question is, how do they taste? Mmm. These are actually pretty good. They are the natural coated rub ones, so let's try it with some Louisiana sauce. Uh oh. So let's see if the sauce makes any difference. I think that face just says it all. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. However, these are actually really tasty. To be fair though. To be fair though, to what? what? To be fair to though, be what? Fair though, what? Okay, these are definitely the best things I've tried so far today. That natural rub is just so tasty. I think you know where these are going. These are going in the S tier, which means it takes the top spot of being the tastiest Sidemen product. Hey, yo, I'm not going to lie. You guys are sus. But how will they compare against these spicy sweet chili chicken wings? Yo, these are looking like the best chicken wings I've ever seen. So let's see how they taste. Mm. I'm not going to lie. These are going in the D tier. Next up, we've got halloumi fries. Okay, now we're talking. If they've messed up halloumi fries, then I'll probably never watch them again. So let's see if the halloumi fries are trash or if they've cooked. I think now we should try it with the burger sauce. Oh, but this is gonna be so good. Mm. Sidemen, you didn't disappoint in the halloumi fries. They're going in the A tier. But will the chili cheese nuggets be able to top that? I am super excited to try these. Chili cheese bites are literally my favorite thing to get. I think I've said that about every single thing they've got. But the real question is, how do they taste? Mm. There's a perfect amount of cheese, perfect amount of chili, and perfect amount of crisp. So far, the Sidemen are doing pretty well. So the chili cheese nugs are going in the A tier. And finally, we have got onion ring hash browns. Yo, what even are these? Hash brown or onion ring? I am pretty skeptical about these. Like, how could a hash brown be an onion ring? But anyways, let's see how it tastes. Okay. I'm tasting onion ring and I'm tasting hash brown. But there is literally no onion ring. How does that work? I'm not gonna lie, these are kind of weird, so they're going in the D tier. Which means the Nashville coated ribs wins as being Sidemen's tastiest product. Wait, cut that, cut that, cut that!